Hi everyone, this is Ethan from Dre Design Studios and we're here with another Photoshop tutorial. Today we'll just be reviewing how to export a frame by frame animation from Photoshop into a GIF or GIF file format, depending on how you'd like to pronounce that. And let's go ahead and get started. So we have our frame by frame animation here, which we can always preview at the bottom of our timeline by hitting play. And if we're satisfied with the way our animation looks, we can move on to exporting. So we'll just go up to File in the top left, and we'll scroll down to Export, and then we'll move over to Save for Web, and we're going to click on that. You'll notice a dialog box appears, and this is where we have all of our settings for the GIF animation. And Photoshop provides different presets that are available. However, we're going to set all of these settings manually, so we'll just move on to the next drop down menu. And we want to make sure that GIF is selected. GIF standing for Graphics Interchange Format, meaning that the graphics can change within that same file format. Below that, we have Color Reduction Algorithm, and by default, it's going to be set to Selective. So, what the Selective option does is it favors broad areas of color and the preservation of web colors. It's usually going to produce images with the greatest color integrity and it is the default option so we're just going to stick with the selective color reduction algorithm. To the right of that we have the amount of colors that we can have within our GIF if we change this to 8 and as you can see the color table here changes as well because those are the amount of colors that we have changed it to 8 colors and you can see that the quality of the animation has actually gone down a little bit as well. However the file file size will be smaller, so depending on what you're going to be using this animated GIF for, let's say that you're using it for a website and it needs to be a smaller file size, then exploring these different options can be good. However, I want the final quality to be as great as it can, so I'm just going to go ahead and select 256. And you'll notice that color table changes back. Below that, we have the dither algorithm. Essentially what dithering is, is it adds different colored pixels in close proximity to each other to simulate secondary colors or make smoother gradations of color. Now with these different options, we can choose not to dither, which is going to be a lower quality if you do have a bunch of different colors, or we can choose diffusion, pattern, and noise. For right now, I'm just gonna go with diffusion because that's also gonna give us an option of specifying the amount of dither. Now I'm gonna make sure that dither is turned up 100% because that's going to produce a smoother looking animation. If you need to preserve transparency for your animation, let's say you're putting it over top of a different background color, you can have transparency checked, and you can also change the background color of your animation if you haven't done so in your document. But for right now, I'm just going to stick with white. And if you check interlaced, it's going to download in multiple passes. So the quality at first might not seem as great as it's downloading on a website, but it will eventually download to its final quality. WebSnap is going to adjust colors to web safe based colors. However, I'm going to keep that at zero as well because I don't plan on putting this on a website. Glossiness is going to control the quality of the animation, meaning if I turn this up to 100, it is going to to be a lower quality image. However, it's going to be much smaller, as you can see in the bottom left of the dialog box. But I want this image and I want this animation to maintain its quality, so I'm just going to turn that back down to zero. As you can see, the file size does more than double in size whenever you turn that lossiness all the way to zero. Convert to sRGB stands for standard RGB or red, green, blue, which is your standard color space for monitors and screens. Previewing, we're just previewing in the monitor color. And metadata, this is more or less what information is included with the animated GIF. Let's say you wanted to include a copyright or contact info. However, I'm just going to keep that checked to none because I don't need any information included with this animation. Color table, this is showing all of the colors that are within your GIF. And as you can see, we have 256 different colors, which is going to make a larger animation as well. However, I do want this final quality to look great, so I'm going to keep it at that. I've already set my image size to 1920 by 1080 in the document, and I'm just going to keep that 100% because I just want it to be an HD animation. And then we have the resampling quality. Bicubic Smoother is going to produce a smooth looking animation. So I'm going to stick with Bicubic Smoother. And then we have our looping options. Because I have it set to three within the document, that's what it's currently set as. We could loop it once or we could loop it forever. I'm going to go ahead and check forever for our looping options. That means it's just going to keep playing over and over and over again. Now once we have all these settings set, we can hit play to preview our animation and see what the final output is going to look like. If we're happy with our animation, we're just going to hit save and it will prompt us where we're going to save the animation or export it to. I'm going to actually name this animation Fiesta Wear Dancer and I'm going to save it to my desktop. 
Once Photoshop is done exporting and saving the file, I'm gonna to navigate to my desktop so we can preview our final product. So I'm just gonna click on this file and I'm gonna hit spacebar on the keyboard to preview it. And as you can see, Photoshop has done a great job at exporting our animation in similar quality that was within the document. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial on exporting a frame-by-frame -frame animation from Photoshop into an animated GIF file format. This is Ethan from Dre Design Studios. Have a great day.